Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, and uh, some of you might be wondering, where the hell have I been? I uh, haven't made a video in a long time. It's actually really only been like three weeks, somewhere around there, but it feels like a long time. Uh, January has not been a very good month so far. It's been a hell of a lot better than last year, I could say that, but still haven't, hasn't really been that great. The weather we have been having in northern Illinois has been absolutely terrible. Every time I go to do something, it's either snowing or it's really, really, really cold out. You probably want, you probably notice that I don't have a review for glass on my channel, and that's because I haven't had a chance to go see it. I've, I wanted to see it so badly that I've been trying to go see it, but every chance I have to go see it, it's either been snowing or really cold, like I said. Like today, I planned on seeing it today. But today, we are at negative 20 degrees, or somewhere around there, maybe even higher. And, yeah, I just haven't had the opportunity to actually do anything. This weather has been awful. But I really wanted to do a video on this movie um, when it came out on Blu-ray, because, again, I didn't have a chance to go see the double feature in theaters, of course. So I had to wait till the Blu-ray comes out, and I really, really wanted to talk about Reign of the Supermen. So Reign of the Superman is a continuation of last year's The Death of Superman. Now, if you saw my review for The Death of Superman, you know that I really liked that movie. I thought it was not one of DC's better animated movies, but it's one of my favorites that I've seen. I love the, the Death of Superman story, and it was nice to see a proper adaptation in an animation form. So I was really looking forward to Reign of the Superman, and like I said, they held the Phantom events where... Both movies were screened back to back, and I didn't get a chance to see that, so I had to wait till the Blu-ray comes out. I picked up the picked up the Blu-ray. Excuse me, I watched it last night, and right away I really like this movie. Um, I might even like it a little bit more than the Death of Superman, just a little bit more though. It still has some problems, but I still really really enjoyed this movie. Now, really quick before I continue, I should note that. When I was younger, I didn't read a lot of comic books. I barely read any comic books. I was more into the comic book movies and even the TV shows. So I don't know the source material as of someone who has read the comic books and is now watching these movies. I'm just going off of what the movie showed and what the movie has to offer. And like I said, this movie, I really liked it. It, it, it worked for me. You know, it was a great conclusion to the Death of Superman story. I don't know how accurate it is to the source material. I don't know what they changed. I'm just going off of what the movie showed. And the plot of this movie, I'm going to give it spoiler free like I always do. I don't like going deep into plot synopsis, but all I'll say is that it's been some time since Superman has been gone. You know, he's dead, the death of Superman. And all of a sudden there's these new Supermen that have been showing up claiming to be Superman in reincarnated. And Lois Lane goes to investigate, Lex Luthor is behind the scenes of this, the Justice League is involved with this, and it's a big clash, it's got great action, it's a really great story. Like I said, I really enjoyed this. Right off the bat, this movie has really great animation. These DC animated movies have a good job for the most part of their animation. There are some few parts in this where the animation just looks kind of iffy, like um, in one of the battles, uh, they look kind of stilted. Like, the fight choreographs looks a little stilted. And there's, then there's this one shot of Superman at the end of the movie where he's flying upwards. And it looked really bad. Like, it looked like they just drew a stick figure and then placed uh, Superman's body over it and then just said, we're running out of time, screw it. Let's just, just put it in there. Like, it looked really bad. But for the most part, the animation is really good. It is, you know, it, these movies are made for straight-to-DVD. And, you know, for straight-to-DVD, straight-to-Blu-ray animation, they're not that bad. This movie also has a lot of emotion behind it. Because, as we know, the death of Superman, that was quite emotional, too. And that emotion carries on from this one. And especially Lois, when she's trying to figure out which one of these Supermen is the real Clark Kent reincarnated. And <clears throat> you, and you know what's going to happen if you know the story. You know where the real Superman is. And when that reveal comes about, it's very emotional. It, I teared up a little bit. It was well handled, and the voice work was really good. That's another thing. The voice work for these movies have to be really strong in order 
for this to be really great. You know, it has to convince you that, yeah, this is animation, but these are real people. And the voice work really does add to the emotion in this film. It also did with the last one, so great job on that end. Also, with some of these DC animated movies, there's some comedy thrown in, but with this one, there isn't that much. And I can understand why this is a more serious type animated movie. It's not one of those rated R ones, but it is going in a more serious direction. So there isn't a whole lot of comedy. However, the few comedy bits that are in this movie don't really work all that much. And that kind of sucks to say as someone that really loves comedy. You know, I love comedy. I love to laugh in no matter what situation, if it's done right. Here, not really done all that right. There is one joke about a butt dial. That was all right. But there was a few more that I was just like, it didn't really land all that much. And you can tell they're not really going for a comedy style here. But if you're going to throw comedy into anything, you know, whether it be a serious drama or an action movie or a horror movie, you got to have it work somehow. You can't just throw it in there and... You can't, th you can't just throw it in there and then be, have an excuse being, well, we're not meant to be a comedy. Well, if you're not meant to be a comedy, why are you putting it in there anyway? If, you're, if you want it to be funny, put it in there. If you don't want it to be funny, don't put it in there. And it just didn't work for me. But those are really my only issues with the movie. Some of the animation looks a bit stilted, and there's a few shots that don't look like they were completely finished. And some of the comedy didn't work. That's really my only issue with this movie. I really, really liked The Reign of the Superman. Like I said, I even might like this a little bit more than The Death of Superman. And I really, really liked that one. I had a great time with this movie, and I'm going to give Reign of the Superman four stars. It's out on Blu-ray now. I highly recommend picking it up if you're a Superman fan. If you've seen The Death of Superman and you didn't know that they were continuing this for some reason... Um, Highly recommended. It. It's a great time, and I think it should please the amount of DC fans out there. So if you've guys seen Reign of the Superman, let me know what you think about it in the comment section below. And I apologize again for not getting more videos out. Like I said, this month has just been really bad with the weather. I'll try to do more in February. I'm definitely going to try to do more in February. And um, unfortunately, I didn't really get my remake month, all those videos I wanted to do. I wasn't able to do all those. So I'm just going to go ahead and announce um, February's month. Next month is going to be sequel month. I'm going to be talking about a string of sequels that I've been wanting to talk about. Um, those videos will probably be out within a couple days of February. So look out for those really soon. And as always, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you're not subscribed, click right here. And I'll see you guys next time.